Fractionation by charge I exchange economy is commonly used in the laboratories, right? And um, so basically you have the media right there with charges on the, on the group. And um, if you uh, define your, your buffer pH, make your proteins negative charged or positive charged, and then negative charged proteins will bind to your column. Positive charged uh, uh, proteins will elute from this uh, ion exchange column, and then you collect the, the bound fraction. We use high salt wash. So this this uh, this approach, I try to really look into the acidic proteins of my sample and to see whether I can find more interesting proteins. And this is total protein at 50 micrograms, and uh, loading to this 2D gel. And you can see that at 50 micrograms, you actually you see, you know, high intensity of this group of spots, and also you see new spots coming out when you reach. Just to just load the acidic proteins, and of course you got the other part enriched in this uh, unbound fraction. And then I tested how reproducible it is. I, I got um, technical repro reproduction uh, repro reproduction of three columns of each sample, and I found really nice uh, reproducibility of this. So what I used was, and then I enriched the uh, acidic proteins from the uh, Alzheimer's uh, mouse brain tissue and versus the control. And I start to notice that there is uh, something new coming up which I cannot detect in the total protein run, that that spot definitely increased uh, in the control, but yeah, decreased in the Alzheimer's disease sample. So this is, this is a way for you, you know, to really focus on either extremely acidic or extremely basic proteins. A good thing about this is, number one, the, the IX column capacity is usually very high. Again, this is, a, this is a prep tool. You can deal with many grams and many grams of uh, proteins. Number two, I, IEX uh, um, a protocol is quick. It's a very quick procedure. This takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. Done. Okay. Any questions so far? Yeah. The only question I have is so in this case, you're, this would be uh, the native protein itself. Um, with the previous step, when you were doing the SDS, so then you have to obviously do a, a test to get the, the SCS off yes. you do the that's, that's a very good question. When you deal with um, uh, IEX column, you also need to watch the, uh, the charges, the salts, right? Um, you usually want to keep the salt level below 20 millimolar, okay? And trying to stay away from SPS as well, because that will change the uh, charges on the protein. And a good thing about uh, 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 IEX column is it, it's compatible with urea, fair urea, okay, because it's not non-charged. You can still, you know, extract the proteins in urea, fair urea, and just a, a, a fraction of them on IX column.